All right, I got an email from somebody about game development. Currently, I'm currently taking your courses I bought from you, and I'm interested in going into game development. Do you have any advice for me? So uh, my response this is going to be a short video, guys. Yes, complete the courses and then do my Python course. I teach how to create a basic text-based game, which is a good place to start when you want to learn how to do game development. That said, you have to learn how to write code and learning the web stack, and then Python will give you a good foundation to explore other types of development, including game development. What, will you, what you will discover is that development is development. So let's talk about learning game development. Before you can get into game development, you have to understand that game development is quite a diverse thing. There's all kinds of different types of game development. You could do desktop games, console game development, uh, mobile game development, web-based game development. There's all kinds of different things. Now, it's a huge industry, but it's, it's a tough industry in the sense that... Um, Yes, the very high pay, but it's it's not something you, you know. Indie game development is a tough game. Why? Because there's just so many people getting into gaming. Here's a basic rule of life and business: when something is perceived as being fun, you get a lot of people who jump into it, and when you have a lot of people who jump into it, uh, it becomes this competition becomes much st stiffer. It usually creates a situation where you have one or two winners and a whole bunch of losers. So you have to be careful. Not to dissuade yourself. I have a couple of friends who are in the gaming industry and they've been in there for a long time. And they do very well. They really enjoy what they do. It's a fun subject. Uh, but so you want to get into game development. You may, as I said at the beginning of this video, you may find yourself doing mobile, uh, console, you know, PS4 or PS5, whatever. Uh, and who knows, maybe indie games, indie games, different types, it's different types of development, really. Um, but at the end of the day, it's development. So if you are new to software development coding, I always recommend the web stack. Why? Because it, it gives you a, a nice diverse set of coding skills. It's a good way to get into it because you can develop games for web browsers and so forth. Um, and it's just very approachable. And it also teaches you the fundamentals of code. Coding is coding is coding is coding. Development is development in the sense that uh, fun the fundamental rules of programming and development are consistent across most languages. The web is just easy, it's accessible, it's cross-platform, et cetera, et cetera. I mentioned Python because Python is used a lot in gaming as well as JavaScript. But it, again, it depends on what you're doing. If you're developing iOS games, you're going to develop that with Swift probably in Objective-C. If you're going to get into Android game development, you're probably going to do that with Java or Kotlin or a mixture of both. If you're developing for consoles, it could be a whole bunch of languages that are used in that context as well. Anyhow, you have to start with the basics, of course. Don't make the mistake of jumping straight into pure uh, game development. One thing you could do is like C-sharp and the Udemy platform, et cetera. And you don't have to use my courses. You can use whatever courses you want. But the first thing you want to do is you want to get a good understanding of just writing code, understanding development, understanding how to write good software, regardless of the language or the platform. I hope that helps. Cheers.